Solidarity with Paris. The stock market is set to open as usual and businesses prove resilient. But safe havens like gold and the Japanese yen are gaining ground. And Japan falls back into recession for the second time since the introduction of Abenomics. Hello and a very warm welcome. You are with World Business Report. So France is trying to return to some kind of normality today after the attacks in Paris on Friday. The stock market is due to open as usual this morning and there is expected to be a drop at the start of trade in share prices but most analysts agree that will be an initial knee-jerk reaction and will be short-lived with a prolonged uh, market reaction unlikely. Public transport should be running as usual, normal today in France. Schools will reopen. Museums and some other attractions will also be open as usual. However, some of the more vulnerable sites, such as the Eiffel Tower, will remain closed. Also, Disneyland Paris is going to stay closed until Wednesday. Well, to talk us through uh, the effects of all of this, I'm joined by Yannick No, a London-based French uh, financial analyst and investor. Yannick, thank you so much for coming in. So, as we've just outlined there, as much as possible, France is trying to have a normal week yes. in terms of stock markets and business. Yeah, it will be business as usual. I mean, the stock market will be uh, really open, like it always do. Uh, what we have seen from the... Uh, uh, the market in Asia is that you know, the market is likely to be slightly down, but nothing near what what could have been uh, estimated earlier during the weekend. Uh, all in all, we think that uh, tourism uh, and transportation should be the most affected in terms of stock market, maybe luxury, maybe insurance company as well. But all in all, the impact will be very, very, um, very, very small. Also as well, in terms of the nature of this terrorist attack. It happened uh, well after the markets closed across yes. Europe um, on Friday. So the whole weekend has, yes. has, ha- has taken place for people to digest what's happening, why and and what the, you know, the outcome that could have on the French economy. That in itself helps, doesn't yes. it? For it to be a more rational response exactly. this morning. Well, if we compare with uh, what's happened during the, uh, the July 7 bombing in, in London or in the Madrid attack uh, in March uh, 2004, those, ha- those attacks happened during market hours and we saw a sharp, a sharp sell-off and maybe some kind, of, uh, some kind of panic. In this case, uh, it, this is a horrific uh, event, but it was after the market closed and therefore... I think investors had plenty of time to, to see what will be the rationale uh, for investing in, a, in French economy or in Europe. And all in all, the impact for the European economy or for French economy is quite small. Also as well, uh, it can't be underestimated, can it, the, the response on yes. the part of, of those around the world globally, but also in France in terms of solidarity. Yes. If, if anything, uh, businesses are supported in these situations, aren't they? Yes, I mean, there's been plenty of uh, economic studies about what was the impact of terrorist attack on developed economies since September 11. And more often than not, we see some uh, stronger consumer spending, some very strong resilience, in fact, in fact some you know, even further consumption because people don't want to be, uh, don't, ch- don't want to change their, their way of life. And they think that you know by you know uh, by spending a bit more they will do the part of the, uh, the part of it for the economy. So all in all, it's likely to be in the long term uh, it will not be a negative event. And it could have been any capital city yes. uh, in Europe or actually anywhere in the world for that matter. This is a a global risk that is yes. something that cannot be priced in or predicted. Therefore, it's just something that as financial markets globally we have to just. Get yes. used to. Unfortunately, terrorism could happen anywhere. I mean, it could happen anywhere in Europe. As we've seen uh, to, uh, this weekend, some of the uh, uh, people were coming from Belgium or from Germany. It could, they could come from uh, everywhere in Europe. It's uh, as an uh, industrial accident. Uh, it, uh, you know, it's something that you can't price uh, in advance. And, but all in all, in the long term, the impact is usually quite, uh, quite small. All right, Yannick, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much for coming in. And just to say that in terms of reaction on markets, so as Yannick mentioned, markets in Asia opened uh, lower because of what's happened. The euro's at a six-month low at the moment versus uh, the US dollar. And some shares in Asia being affected, like airline stocks, for example. We'll keep you across uh, the reaction 
uh, as it does happen in Europe, of course, when the days begin here later. But let's now have a look at some other business stories today. If we must focus on the Japanese economy, because bad news, I'm afraid to say, it slipped back into a technical recession. That's two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth. Uh, that's after the economy shrank by almost a percent in the three months between July and September. Let's go to Mariko Oi, who's in our Asia Business Hub in Singapore. Nice to see you, Mariko. So it would seem Abenomics is not doing the trick still. Talk us through this news. Well, that's definitely what critics of Abenomics Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's very aggressive economic policies uh, would be arguing after today's figures. As you said, the economy shrunk by 0.8% uh, in the most recent quarter. In the previous quarter, it also shrunk by 0.7%, which means two consecutive quarters of negative growth, meaning that the economy is back in a recession. And this is, in fact, the fourth recession since the global financial crisis and the first, actually, since the introduction of Abenomics. Uh, So a lot of uh, debate over whether uh, there would be any more stimulus to boost the economy or whether, uh, as Mr Abe's uh, supporters would say, uh, the effect of Abenomics would take slightly longer uh, to really kick in. Uh, There were two main reasons for the the contraction of the economy. Uh, Firstly, as we always keep talking about, uh, China's slowing growth, which of course affects Japan's exporters, but also Uh, spending by businesses, they actually shrunk despite uh, those companies reporting record profits. Uh, They failed to pass that on to their employees by raising their wages, and they're not really investing just yet. At least consumer spending uh, continues to pick up, uh, even though the sales tax uh, was raised uh, the only year, uh, which uh, initially affected people's spending power. Okay, super. Thanks for Mariko. Perspective on that news coming out of Japan. Now, if you want to launch a product, start a business, where do you go for funding? Well, the bank, perhaps, all the three Fs, that's family, friends and fools. Or if you're lucky, you might go to the whole world to help you with your project. One of the places to do that is the crowdfunding service Kickstarter. It launched in 2009 and since then has taken payments from 7.8 million backers projects and recently passed the $2 billion mark of pledges. One of the co-founders, Yancy Strickler, is, uh, has been here at the BBC and he spoke to us about some of the secrets of his success. Creativity and integrity are everything. You know, it's important to approach each problem and each question uh, thinking very broadly about all the possibilities and to pursue a solution that you feel proud of, that you know feels right and morally correct. You take shortcuts if you, uh, you know, try to do things. If you do things the wrong way, there's a serious price to pay. So you need to act always in a way in which you'll be proud. Uh, if you do that, uh, I think, you know, only the best things can happen. Now let's mention one other story. Africa's biggest mobile company, MTN, has until today to pay a 5.2 billion dollar fine from Nigeria. The fine amounts to double MTN's profits for last year and was for failing to cut off unregistered mobile users. The boss of the company resigned last week, saying it was in the interests of the company and shareholders. The company is in talks to reduce the fine. So let's show you how financial markets are trading as we begin a new week. As we've mentioned in Asia, of course, some reaction to the imp- to that. Uh, those events in Paris on Friday. Losses right across the board. Let's show you the currency so you can see how the euro is trading versus the dollar and pound and other uh, currencies. As I've mentioned, some airline shares having a tough time in Asia today uh, on concern that the events in Paris may deter people to travel from Asia to Europe. Of course, a lot of knee-jerk reaction in markets at the moment. That's all from World Business Report. I'll see you soon.